2014 Supra SC450. Uh, this is a boat we recently took in on trade. Let's take a look around and see what some of the features are in the Supra. Um, as you can see here, we've got our black metal flake and red color going on on the exterior fiberglass. Looking good on the color match black trailer and the black and red tower as well with our chrome super lettering on the side and side vents. Sharp looking boat. Let's take a look around the back here. Um, you'll see we've got transom stereo mount on here. And then we've got the Supra Swell Surf System underneath. Uh, it's a three plate system. Um, you can switch sides and whatnot with it. So we've got our under, underwater lights back here as well. Everything. Uh, Thing looking good on the back end of the boat uh, you might notice on one little scuff here uh, which is pretty common on the transom of boats but a uh, little scuff there but other than that back of the boat is free and clear of any major scratches or anything like that onto the far side here you can see we've got four pairs of board racks on the tower so plenty of storage for boards um, on our trailer, we also have the five-spoke um, wheels on this uh, this Boatmate tandem trailer with uh, some deck pad on there, the Super logo. Um, on this side of the boat, one thing to point out, you'll see, might be kind of hard to see in the video on this chrome, but there's a small scratch on that letter there. Nothing too serious, but uh, something to point out. Gel's in great shape. Onto the front, we've got our docking lights. And there is another small scratch up here on the front, the gel. Um, other than that, this boat's been really well kept. Overall, it's in really, really clean shape. But uh, why don't we hop in and take a look through the inside a little bit. Supra is being the 450 is option with a 6 liter Inmar 450 horse motor with the Corvette LS3 badging on it. So get a look at that down here. Motor's got just over 151 hours on it. Um, to either side of there, you'll also see pop one of these storage compartments open, but uh, do have the plug and play system in here. Um, so we got that 750 pound bags plumbed in the rear end of the boat. Um, you'll also see over the engine we got a nice uh, padded walkthrough area to get down into the boat. But uh, let me get you guys a good look before I step down inside. Good looking interior. Final's in amazing shape. Um, Got some gray with some some graphite accent vinyl with this nice texture on it. Uh, red seat piping. Some other red accents with that same texture on it as well. Um, through the interior, we've got Polk audio all around. So we've got four Polk speakers on the tower that are also rotating speakers. So you can kind of push on those them around wherever you want. Also on the tower is our folding bimini top we've got on here. So that uh, wraps up nicely in the boot as you can see. Um, and then through the interior to go with other stereo speakers we've got six six inch speakers through the in inside. Um, one of the driver's feet. 10 inch subwoofer under the dash pod and two up in the front the bow of the boat. There's also a bow filler cushion, um, and also up in the bow, get a good look here. There is another plug and play bag in the front. I that's a 350 pound bag there um, to add some extra weight to our stock ballast setup. Um, onto our dash, we've got our uh, RPMs 
and miles per hour analog gauges there, as well as the Supra touchscreen system. It's a Murphy system. Uh, save rider presets, um, control your music, things like that, all on that screen. It is a touch screen, and there are some quick toggle buttons on either side um, to, to navigate through those menus. And then we've got uh, switches down here on either side of the steering wheel to control either, you know, blower, bilge, um, lighting, heaters, so on and so forth. And then you'll see these little toggle switches on the steering wheel. This is for uh, your, your center trim plate and on the right is for uh, speed on, while you're for your cruise control. Um, bow switches are over here as well. Um, some of the stuff you can either do the switches or on the touch screen it gives you both options. Um, under our driver's seat got the flip up bolster. It also rotates and slides. Um, let's see here. Got our glove box here. We've got your pull head unit, um, um, 12 volt outlet, um, auxiliary and USB. Nice little courtesy light in there for you as well. Underneath the glove box, we'll pop this up. Let's see, we got our amps for the stereo, our slide in air dam for the bow that goes in just right here to um, keep wind from coming through, keep you nice and warm on those colder days. But as you can see, we got our bag up there plumbed in and our air dam. Um, also, to, something to mention is our the flip up seat we've got going on right above the two pop out heater vents. So those stretch out and can go wherever you need them in the boat. Storage compartments, just remove our cushions. We got some, some good storage in here. Those bags actually come up through storage from the back and uh, come up underneath the seats here in either corner. Folding tower, simply just uh, pull these two levers back on either side. The, for, uh, the tower slides forward, falls forward. Um, I'm trying to think what else we got on here to mention. Um, also a step pad up here on the front of the boat if you're you know pulled up to a, a beach or something like that oversized mirror on the dash gives you a nice angle of field of view uh, got a phone holder over there if you need it but uh, overall really nice boat the only thing I can point out on the interior is a small stain on the center back seat where uh, that likely will not come out if we do a cleaning. And then let me check here for you guys. You got a small cooler under the back center seat. Um, that seat is actually attached on some hinges there, but uh, yeah, got a cooler in the back. And pop-up ski pylon, which is a nice feature. So if you want to get that out of the way, it folds right down and load, um, flush with the sun pad. Again, uh, it's a 2014 Supra SC450, the 6 liter Inmar with 152 hours. Boat's in great shape. If you want to come see it, we've got it here on the lot. And uh, give us a call if you have any other questions. Thanks.